Today on FAQ Fridays, we're going to be talking about how much load will S5 clamps hold. My name's Curtis Ward. Today I'm joined by Jesse Winternitz, S5's product development engineer. Jesse, thanks for taking the time to sit down with us today. Of course, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So now one of the questions uh, we get asked a lot is, how much load will S5 clamps hold? And I, I assume that this there isn't one answer to this question. No, absolutely not. Obviously, it depends a lot on the specific profile, which clamp you're using, the gauge of the material, um, and which way you're going to be pulling on the clamp. So that's why S5 does extensive testing with different seams with different clamps. We publish all the load values directly on our website. We'll talk about later why we use the normal orientation for, with mini clamps, why we use the parallel orientation for standard clamps. We also test our brackets on exposed fastened roofing and publish that right on our website as well. Also, all of our testing is done by and reported by an A2LA accredited laboratory. And then finally, we'll address what to do if your specific roof panel has not been tested yet. All right. What are the differences in S5's load testing? So negative load normal to seam is when we pull directly up on the clamp. An example would be for wind applications. And then parallel to seam load testing is when we pull along the seam, um, sort of a drag load. So with these two testing orientations, we are simulating pull out and shear. We then make this information available on our website so engineers and designers can verify the strength of the components within the system. And then for exposed fasten testing, we test our components with different substrates in both orientations. Uh, the substrates will vary from job to job, so that's why we test in different, different substrates. You'll see OSB, plywood, timber 2x4s, and steel. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So you just mentioned the load test results can be found on S5's website. So what, what exactly are the load test results? So load test results are where we publish the different values that we've gotten through all of our tests. We split it up into three different sections. We have the normal to seam testing, parallel to seam testing, and then exposed fasten testing for our brackets. Let's go to the website right now and I'll show you. Sounds good. So here we are on our website. The first thing you're going to do is go over to the resources tab and then click on load test results. Here you see we have parallel to seam testing, normal to seam testing, and exposed fasten testing. The pages all work very similarly. For this example, let's click on exposed fasten testing. You will have to sign in. If you don't have an account, you will have to make one. Accept the terms and conditions. Here you can see the different brackets that we have their tests published. As you scroll down, you'll see the brackets next to the orientation they were tested in, normal to seam or parallel to seam. As you keep scrolling, you'll see below the descriptions some more information. On this one, you can see the substrate that was tested, the material that was tested, the fasteners that were tested, and the number of fasteners that were tested. Next to it, you'll see the ultimate load that was achieved through testing, as well as a failure mode, a safety factor, and the allowable load after applying the safety factor. From here, let's look at the parallel to seam pull testing by clicking here. We'll go over to panel manufacturer. We're going to scroll down. We're going to select MBCI. Let's look at their double lock profile. We'll leave units as imperial and a safety factor of two. From here, you can see the individual pull tests. All the pull tests are specific to the parallel to seam orientation, as well as the clamp, manufacturer, product, the thickness of material, the screw tension, which is relative to the thickness of material, the ultimate load that that test got, and then you can also see the failure mode, which is specific to the testing protocols, and the allowable load, given the safety factor that you chose. You'll see that we have double lock tested with both our S5V clamp and our S5U clamp. The reason for this is because the S5V and the S5U are the exact same shape and 
and fit the profile the exact same way, which is why we have the ultimate loads cross-referenced with each other. The difference is that the S5U has a little bit more fabrication so that it is also able to fit on horizontal single folds, while the S5V can only fit on vertical seams. However, the S5V is more economical. All right. Well, thanks, Jesse, for taking the time out of your day to come and sit down with us. Absolutely. Happy to do it. And thank you all for watching. If you guys have any further questions on load tests or anything relating to that, or if you just have a new topic, comment down below. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next Friday. So if your particular roof hasn't been tested by S5 out, oh, <laughs> oh I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh, buddy. At s-5.com. Our testing depends on so many different variables. <laughs> All right. You're good. <laughs>